Hi, welcome to the Preacher's Portal. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Now let's listen to Dr. Damina respond to um, Peter Obi's comment on the night vigil. But first, let's listen to what um, Peter Obi said, then we'll get to what Dr. Damina said and responds to that. So let's listen to Peter Obi. Hmm. You know, Nigeria is not producing anything. The only thing that makes, that's why the only thing that is attractive here is politics and church. Hmm. You need to dismantle it. Mm. People need to be productive. How, how can we dismantle? You say we, should, we need to dis the, the only thing that is attract attractive is the, politics and church. How do we dismantle politics and church? Because it's like two of them are horse and carriage. They go together. Well, it's very simple. If you stop people from stealing public money and use public money for public good, you make politics unattractive. It shouldn't be. What we're doing here is state capture is a criminalized entity. Mm. So you have stolen the country or the state, so you steal everything that is there. That must stop. The church must teach morals. Mm. Church must work. You know, and we're going to turn night vigil into night shift. Mm. Mm. So people can be productive. We're not saying you shouldn't go to church. I go to church, I believe in God. Yes. But we cannot have people Monday to Friday be in church morning and night. No. Because they don't run the church. Like Catholic church, they don't run it on helmet full of grace. They collect the money. And that money has to be a function of productivity. Mm -hmm. So they need to work on it. I wanted to ask, um, the former governor of Anambra State, had made a statement. Do you agree with him or not? He said that um, he th he w if he would rather turn night vigils into night shifts so that people can be more productive. I tend to agree with what he said. What do you think? Well, I think the night vigils are not the problem. The problem is that our society has not created such opportunities that allow people to work night and day. Because if they do, even where people work night and day, people still do night vigils. So I don't think night vigils is the problem. The problem is the, the opportunities that allow people to work day and night have not been created. Because in countries where people work day and night, still people still do night vigils. Prayer is not a problem. It's just that the enabling environment to do those kind of jobs is yet to be created. There are, not, there are, there are night jobs here. The security, you work security morning and night. Mm. So there, there are night jobs here. But I don't... There's nurses and doctors yeah. work morning and night. Yeah. So we do have night jobs. So what, what um, Peter will be saying is we spend all our time doing night vigil when we can be more productive. I agree with him. We, we, you know, a society that ought to thrive shouldn't spend the whole time in church. I've said it many times. Mm. That's why they said, I said, you don't need God to succeed. Mm. Okay. It was a whole teaching, and I was taking time to explain that what God has given you the ability to do, you don't wait for do him to for do him. it for you. Yeah. For you yeah. All right, so you've got to do what you've got to do yeah. to get your society to function. There are even societies who don't even believe in the existence of God, and they're doing God. very well physically, economically, and otherwise. Mm. You know, so those are the kind of things I was explaining. <sighs> Now, for truth, many people will be surprised that uh, Dr. Damina took this position, you know. This was an opportunity, per se, for people to say, okay, it's time for Dr. Damina again to bounce on the church. But what Dr. Damina said here is absolutely true. And he gave a profound you know, answer and a response to this subject matter. But the first thing is this. A lot of people are taking what um, Peter will be said out of context because he was not a, particularly against the night vigil. Of course, he used the night vigils to campaign. He used the night and the church to campaign. A lot of people are saying you use the church to campaign majority of the people that voted for you are christians and you're coming up now to say that um, the vigil you are going to dis uh, dismantle it and all that the most productive thing in the church is the church and the and all that so and people are like so you were trying to use the church to get into power a lot of christians are you know many people are very emotional and they took it out of context but what uh, peter Obi was trying to say was that there are churches that you know work all night they have all night from monday to fridays all night without 
not having productive members you see a lot of believers you know are beggars asking for money asking for food and we know the true and we serve the true god and this is because god will not break his principles you understand because of your your activities or your commitment in church you understand if you don't sow you will not reap you understand so when you when you sow you are going to reap so if it, there is time for work and there is time for prayer that's just the truth so when they are you are meant to pray you pray then when you're meant to work you work so i guess that's the concept or the angle where um, peter Obi is coming from not people spending their night you know sleeping all night all day all night in the church and expecting miracle to happen without being productive even dr paul and nature who peter will be used his church for majority of his campaign movement and all that also has a position you are praying to god for a blessing for a miracle but you're not productive i think that's the angle you're not productive you're not producing anything but you are expecting a miracle you understand you are expecting god to give you a breakthrough you understand so the work and the church life balance because the bible says not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord there is need for us because any hand that is not ready to work must not eat you understand so a little sleep a little slumber a little laziness here and there it makes the body of christ and members of the body of christ turn into beggars you understand will not be begging the unbelievers for daily bread for food do you understand so there should be a balance but we love what dr damina said here he never tr- he, in fact he was like night vigil is not the problem here you understand night vigil is not the problem we just have majorly about two occupations who work nights you understand the medical line and the security line so but abroad there are lots of companies that run 24 7 shifts there are companies that are production companies industries that run 24 7 shifts you understand we majorly don't really have that common here in this part of the world so we don't really we don't get to have people that have night shifts you understand so if uh, peter Obi is going to introduce that of course people that will work in those industries will not be in the all night they will be in their jobs you know they'll be at their jobs working all night do you understand to come home and rest and probably they are going to be attending the morning services for those that are very spiritual and take it you know very seriously you understand so this is a system that the western world is using that's why a lot of people when they move to the western world they tend to lose their god or lose their religion because they get to work around the clock so they don't have time to go to church as much as we do you understand everything has its own benefits do you understand so but you know let let everybody just calm down from our own opinion what the peter will be said is not really wrong you understand it, it was insensitive to one extent because uh, of the way portray the message but it was not absolutely wrong if you remove the sentiment out of it you see that it was passing a message there then it, it, uh, dr damina's response was perfect and absolute we agree with dr damina on this one then other pastors have responded opposed to it do has also spoken about it and you know a lot of people have said a lot of things about it but let's hear what you think in the comment section this is a preacher's portal if you're new to this channel please hit the like button share and subscribe